Play for Live Video Inc. and Actors in Order, and we're at the 2012 <laughs> NBA convention at Bonneville, Miami. And with me right now is Freddie Luka, and his favorite company is called Megavision. That's all right. We're from Los Angeles. What is Megavision? Well, we're the second largest uh, media group in Los Angeles. We have uh, six channels and eight uh, radio stations. She's been letting us interview without a mic plugged in. Great, thank you. Okay. Disregard all that B-roll footage. Okay, that's all right. We're gonna start all over again. Sure. Test one, two, three, four. Hi, this is Mr. Microphone. Are we ready? I'm Kurt Kelly, and we are at NetP 2012 at the Fountain Blue in Miami. It is uh, back here after being away for a few years. Uh, this is the second year back in Miami. And I'm with Freddie Ungo, who is the uh, general manager yep. for Megavision. That's, that's correct, yes. And Megavision is in El Salvador. What does that represent to your community? Well, we're the second largest media group in El Salvador. We have six uh, t uh, TV channels and eight radio stations. So we've been in the market for 20 years. and. and well, basically, that's what we are. So you're here to sell programming or acquire content? No, we're coming here to acquire content. Specifically, what are the things you're looking for this year? Novels, uh, documentaries, series, movies, and entertainment and formats. Now, you've been coming to NAPTI how many years now? Almost 10 years. In those 10 years, aside from the fact it went to Vegas for a while and has come back to Miami for a second year in a row, what have you seen change? Well, first of all, the change to coming to Miami is it worked great for us. I mean, it's only a two and a half hours uh, flight to, to come here to Miami. I think it's a, it's a special hub for Latin America, for Europe, and then basically, probably for Asia, it, it works better in Las Vegas. But I think it's it's been a great change, and uh, I feel, I feel that it's growing. This, this I mean, that the, the couple the past couple of years we saw a decrease in the in the attendance, but right now I think this there's a resurgence in this. Yeah, it's, it's definitely on an uptick this year. And the big theme that I'm hearing, and, and maybe you're hearing it different on the panels, is everybody's talking about content, 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 but also about the convergence into new media and push technology. Well, in our case, I think in Central America, we still have a long way to go. I, I don't think it's going to be there for the next uh, six to eight years. Uh, we're ready. I mean, it, it, whenever they, they tell us that we have to do it, the legislation tells us that we need to do it, we just, uh, I, but I think it's going to take a while. Yeah, because the country isn't at this point wired for like Wi-Fi, maybe like the United States is? Yes, yes, yeah. Um, so that really won't impact you? You don't have people that are using Android devices and watching television? No, 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 no. Actually, Blackberry, Android, and stuff like that, that's working very well in El Salvador, so we're ready. I mean, I think that's the technology that we have all to live with it. El Salvador and your whole region in Central America is becoming more prominent for starting to produce content and video games, and what changes are you seeing in your area? Well, you see, in, in the case of us, uh, the, the second and third largest group, we have to do, produce a lot. We, have to, we do a lot of local uh, production because, uh, well, the major player, they, I mean, they, they have a dominant position, and they have the first choice on, on the major players here in, in NAPI. So we're producing a lot, and we're, uh, we're, we're getting into that niche to uh, being identified by our, our, our people. So that's what we're doing, basically. And then we just need to have some other content that complements us. Now, do you know much about the incentives? Like if I'm a television producer or a filmmaker, if I were going to look at Guatemala to come in and produce content, are there good incentives in your country now? I think that, I mean, they're not great incentives, but they're not something that will let you down. I mean, I think 
uh, we're, very, uh, op we're open over there. Central America is ready and open to these type of things. How about equipment-wise? Is there the technology for people to come in and rent the gear and, and produce stuff of quality? Yes, yes, and you can find that. And we're actually looking for that. We're looking for co-producers, uh, joint ventures, and that kind of stuff. Uh, I think that Central America is getting ready for that. So where do you see Central America taking its big growth over the next five years with your network? In co-producing, yeah, joint ventures with, uh, with uh, some uh, people that have the knowledge, they have the know-how of uh, how to do all the uh, entertainment programs and stuff like that. I think that's, that's going to be the, the major change, I think, for the next two to three years. So this will be almost kind of like the earlier days of um, U.S. television with the networks, where the networks would co-produce with companies and put out productions and are now trying to go back to that model again. Yeah, I think it's going to be very similar. Uh, right now, that's, that's what the way it's going in El Salvador, in Central America, and probably in the northern part of South America. Well, and, and an amazing thing that I'm noticing um, here is the, uh, the major talk about, you know, China's and, uh, Chinese being the number one language. The second largest spoken language on the planet now is Latin. Is that right? Yeah. yeah Spanish or, or, or Latin-type yeah. language is even ahead of English now. Well, that's surprising to me. That's a surprise. Well, that's a good statistic that maybe yeah. more programming is going to be produced in your direction. That's right. Um, are there any other changes you've noticed here at NAPI you can share? Well, not probably. That the, the, what we have discussed, I think that's, those are the major changes. But we're very happy of the, of the resurgence of the attendees, of the attendance here in, in NAPI. I think that it's, it's going to be a good year for TV. And what types of show are you here to buy? Well, entertainment formats, like that, and then basically novels and, and uh, movies and series. Okay, thank you so much for your time, Freddie Ungo from Megavisions in Guatemala. I'm Kurt Kelly, and we will be back with more from NEPTI 2012 in Miami. Stick around.